Hi guys, I was just doing something else, but I spotted this in my stock. So we're going to do a quick rubber band powered car. I've dug out my nail on a stick. That's just very simply a nail. Draw the hole through this wooden uh, bit of wood. So the nail goes through there. It's held in place quite tight. I heat that up in a flame and use it to melt holes through the plastic for the axles to go through. So at the back end it's quite convenient we've got some ridges around there we can use as a guide. So if I just rest that on there going like that. Okay, so if we drill a hole or melt a hole through just there and just there, at the front we've got a bit of a problem. Well, we could go just there. I could do something a little bit taller. a bit too tall. Oh come on, there must be something the right size. How about that, that way round? Oh that might be alright that way. Okay, so that should give us equal spacing both sides. So I'll melt a hole through there, hole through there, hole through there, hole through there. We do need to get in to wrap the rubber band round the axle. In fact, it might be easiest. If we cut the back off. So what I'll do there is I'll melt a hole there, there, there and there and then we just put a knife down to cut it out. And at the front we need some way of attaching the rubber band at the front. So we'll just put a hole through either side there. Well, actually we want to be a bit higher up so we don't foul the axle. Do it top to bottom. Yeah, we'll be all right. So I'll go and warm that up and melt some holes. If you're a child, you need to get an adult to do this bit. It's handy to have some water in the sink. So you can put your hands under cold water if you burn yourself and also to cool this down when you've finished. Now it doesn't need to be red hot, but it's better for it to be hot rather than cold. You can see from the burns on the wood that I've been using this a lot over the years. Literally years, I've had this for a long time and it's very handy. That's probably plenty hot enough. We'll find out, we'll give it a little try. So, carefully line it up. Push it through. Okay. 
in quite a lot of fall down there. It's beginning to cool down, but it's still hot enough to do it. Oh, I'll just put some holes in the end, wouldn't I? This is where it gets smelly if you actually burn the plastic. As long as you don't burn it, as long as it's just melting, you don't get the fumes. Right, I'll go and put that in cold water. If you don't put it in cold water, somebody might just walk along and pick it up not knowing it's red hot. Same with this, this is still going to be hot for a while. Right, back on my little workbench. And there's a sharp knife to cut down between those holes. So we should be able to reach in the back, get to the axle. Now to save a bit of time, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to use my CDs that I've already put hubs on, and I've got 3D hubs there. 3D printed hubs. Oh, they're actually glued in place, I might not use them. I might use these ones that I've already got made up with plastic bottle tops taped onto the CDs. Check the video description, there'll be links to videos on how to do it, but I'm not going to do it now to save some time. So there we go, I've used a couple of wheels with plastic bottle tops taped to them at the back, just to demonstrate you can do it that way. And the front ones I've used my 3D printed hubs To fill out the space in the middle of the CDs at the front. So there we are, that's our car. One thing you do want to check is your wheels all touch the ground. If you haven't got your holes right going through you might find one is up off the ground and that tends to make it steer off to one side. They should all be touching the ground nicely. Right, we need a, another bit of uh, drink, uh, drinking straw, bamboo cane, barbecue skewer is the word I was trying to think of. That will go down through there and we can hook the rubber band onto that. You will have a little bit of a problem set up like this because you'll have trouble getting hold of the rubber band when it's in there. You could cut the entire bottom out and that'll make it easier. We'll see how we get on like this. If I have trouble, that's what I'll do. I'll cut the bottom out so you can actually get hold of the rubber band and pull it to the back. Rubber bands. Right. We've got quite a few already joined together here. But I will just demonstrate joining rubber bands together because some people struggle. Just put, push one loop through the other and then push that one through that loop and then pull it. And there you are, three rubber bands joined together. Now this is what I'm saying, you have trouble getting it down through there. You spend a lot of time doing that. You'll get it through eventually. But I think I will just cut the bottom out because it'll make life a lot easier. There, nice hole up the middle. Makes life a lot easier. So we can reach through. You can either just poke it over there or you could pull that up and 
push it through. Need an extra hand. Let's do it like that. Now, so that will hold in place. Oh. Over the back axle and wrap it round so it holds itself in place. Right, time for a test run. That rubber band's really too long. You probably just want two, but we'll try it with three. So, over the axle, wrap it round. Yeah, because that's a bit loose, it's not gripping very well, but we'll carry on. Once it's wrapped round enough, it's going to hold itself in place. There we go. So, we won't wind it all the way up, we'll see if it runs first. Had a bit of wheel spin at the start there. Now we can cure wheel spin two ways. You can put rubber tyres on the CDs. So check out my video description. There's a video link or a link to a video for putting rubber tyres on CDs. Or the other thing is just simply add some weight on top. So I'll put some weight on it. Right, I've just taped an old 9 volt battery on top just for a bit of extra weight. Summary time, what have we got? A uh, plastic milk carton, I think that's probably a 2.1. Four CDs, two bamboo canes or barbecue skewers, rubber bands. I did use a bit of drinking straw to space the wheels away from the bodywork. Um, you can use plastic bottle caps for the hubs or I used 3D printed hubs that fit on perfectly. Uh, another bit of bamboo cane down the front there to hook the rubber band onto. Cut a hole in it so we've got access to the rubber bands. Cut a hole at the back so we've got access to the axle. And it was too light so the wheels were spinning. So we could either have put rubber tyres on it, or I just added a bit of weight. And that holds the back wheels on the ground, stops them spinning. So that's it. Another basic rubber band powered car.